Hey everybody, how you doing? <laughs> so this painting took me about 30 minutes. So I'm going to speed it up here in a minute after I explain <laughs> what I did. Um, I had Sharon ask me to use the deco art satin with that funnel like I did yesterday. And uh, then I had Becky saying she'd like to see a black and red. So I kind of met both of them in between here. <laughs> and I went with both, the deco art and black and red. But, of course, I had to add the white. Uh, I don't know. I just thought maybe it might cloud up. But, obviously... It's not going to because, well, I really don't know for sure. Maybe it was because of the black and white being so heavy pigmented and not enough white, the satin white. And, but I'm thinking because it wasn't poured slowly in that ring pour, like my last cloud pours. If that makes any sense. So, yeah, it comes out really fast out of the funnel. So it's not really, like, really meshing together all the paint. And um, it just didn't work, the cloud effect. So this is what I did. And I didn't let it. I, I had too much white on the bottom of the funnel. So I didn't like what happened. So this is a happy accident. Well, I think it is. I like the outcome. So I'm going to fast forward this so that it's not a long, long video. <laughs> um, I'll go ahead and let you see this part. Then I'll fast forward it through all my mistakes. <laughs> As you can see, nothing came in the middle because there was just so much white that came out in the beginning. And I knew that right away, that there was going to be nothing but white in the middle. <laughs> it's funny, but I like the outcome. I think it was pretty neat. Okay, so then I'll reposition my camera so that it's overhead. And I was going too much white in the middle. I didn't let it stay longer in the middle. But it didn't cloud up at all, so that didn't work. So, okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'll torch it and all that because I know you need to torch them really good to get that cloud effect. It didn't work. And you'll see the process until the end. But I'm going to go ahead and speed it up now and you won't hear me talking through the, through the fast forward, okay? After, well, let me mention after this, I didn't have... I tried a little bit in the middle with the leftover deco art can I have there. And uh, that's all pre-mixed and everything. I just put it in back into the container. And that I still didn't like that because my fingers smudged it. But uh, you'll see. Okay, here we go. Um, how do I? Oh.
Okay. So all I did was I stretched this downward. I got off that one corner. It is so pretty in there. It really is. So I'm going to try to save what's there. Do something else with it. Okay. So the cloud effect did not work with that. I think it has to hit hard like that ring pour thing. Okay, so let's skip that. Okay, forget that. Now, <laughs> it just, if you keep stretching, it'll just, it would still not be looking cool to me. It's got to have a little black in there. So I'm going to take my base coat now because I'm out of the deco. Uh, I need a bigger cup. <laughs> I think this is going to turn out pretty some way or another.
Okay, so I will speed that whole part up. <laughs> it took forever. And I still like it though. See? It's just, you know, that that funnel that didn't do it with that deco art because it's obviously not being poured and mixed enough. It was just flowing out too much through the whole, I don't know, for sure. But I think this is neat. <laughs> it's very pretty, actually. Very unique. I love this. So it kind of makes you just want to, like, keep going with those colors and try something different. So that's the one little corner, but I'll just leave, I'll leave that alone. It's pretty though. That's so cool right there. That is cool. I'll go down the middle. I like that black stripe right there in between the red. There's one over here, but it's right next to the black, so. <laughs> so I think it's really cool. You guys let me know what you think about it. Let's see if we like it which way. I don't know if I'm in complete view, though. Nah. Be careful, don't smudge here. Now, I like that darkness up there with that stripe up at the top. <laughs> I wonder how long this video was. Here I was trying to go fast. That is cool. Yeah, I like it this way. That's neat. Let me turn off that whole overhead light. That's your pretty. That is really a cool painting. See, I've done this quite a bit where if I just keep going, I keep wasting paint. But sometimes it takes wasting paint to get something pretty. I love that right there. Let's see, I love that black stripe. I really dig the middle. So that's it, guys. Okay. Thanks for watching. <laughs> uh, have a good one. I'll catch you guys later. Like, share, and subscribe. And have a very nice day or evening, whichever it is for you. Okay. Bye-bye now.